Welcome to the channel, Pain the Patoot here, and I got another mechanics uh, task for you. Uh, it's another Gunsmith Part Six, and it's been updated for um, it's been updated for uh, Patch 15. So let's have a look at what's required. You can see that I've got it completed. I'm ready to hand it in. Um, nothing really. I don't know what the unknown reward will be, but nothing really major here that you get for completing it it is a blocking task and then if you don't complete it you won't get gunsmith seven and eight and whatever and gunsmith tasks in general are fairly just you just need the rubles to be able to complete them but they're a fairly easy task to complete um you just have to be a little understand how they're how they're made so he wants an akm it has to have a fortis shift grip it needs a silencer of some sort, a 30 round mag pool mag. Ergo has to be 40 or above, recoil 400 or less, and a sight of 800 meters. So let's break this down. 800 meter sighting means it can't be the iron sights. Uh, it can't be uh, red dot. It's gonna have to be one of the minimal scopes. So if we go here to Peacekeeper, uh, this one here, the Bravo, 800 meters, it would work. Uh, here, um, 800 meters, the uh, ACOGs. Now the ACOG, the Bravo, I think will just snap right on. The ACOG uh, requires a small mount, which does beat up in your ergonomics. The problem with the, um, with the scopes is they do penalize ergonomics. So that's minus two. That's minus two. Um, so then another option you could use is the one that I picked, which is the Spectre. So the Spectre here, um, minus four ergonomics, so it really heavily penalizes your ergonomics, but um, it was enough to complete the job. So And I happen to have one, so I slapped it on. I guess the other item you could try would be um, the hammer. So the hammer itself is minus 3.5 erg, but 800. So you could do a hammer without the little glass uh, insert here for a red dot, and that would work, okay? So those are your options. Um, what you would use for a scope will often depend on, on your ergonomics, oops. So let's go back to the gun. You can see the little check mark here that says it's ready, but uh, inspect. So you needed um, 40 and above, and I ultimately ended up with 40.5. Um, and then this had to be below, the combination of these two had to be below 400, and we're way below that. <laughs> 195 and 77, you know, it's roughly 277 well it's more like 272 so we're way underneath so what else did we need well one of the things i'll show you pistol grip has a huge huge um effect on ergo one of the biggest ones so in order to get this complete um just grab a pistol grip that has fairly high ergo something above 10. So the Zenit RK3, which I happen to have two or three in my stock, has plus 12 ergo, so that helps. Um, the stock will make a difference too <coughs> for both recoil and ergonomics. So this uh, Zukov, which is a really good uh, stock for the AK series, mainly the 7, uh, 762 by 39 series, it's amazing stock, and... Um, I happen to have one so it's got minus 28 recoil and plus 15 ergo so it's a pretty good stock to use um, the other option I had at the time uh, um, oh I thought I had a, um, a, a little device that I could use to build it but um, potentially you could go here and here is the um, little mod, this one for 3100. And I could go here, take off the Zukov. Hmm. 
if that one doesn't fit. Oh, I'm having real trouble right now with um, with when I do modding that the gun just won't accept. Like in the modding screen, I don't know what it is, what I'm missing, but here, you know, you, you don't see any options. Well, there's a lot of cases. Uh, maybe a better one would be to show modding here. I got one option, the scope. Well, that's not true because if nothing else, I could do this red dot. So why is it not showing me that the red dot will go on? So there's some bug. I'm going to have to investigate that a bit to uh, when I do modding that it won't display. Um, it won't display uh, all the equipment that I can mod. So that makes it really difficult to do. Um, but uh, anyways, so uh, I picked the ergo on the pistol grip. I picked a scope that had 800 meters and um, didn't negatively impact ergo too much. And then I picked a stock that had uh, recoil reduction and plus ergo. I mean, there's a cheap and dirty uh, little uh, add-on that you can uh, get. I believe this works on it. So this is a uh, little item here has um, uh, plus one ergo. So if you're getting desperately short, just come down, throw that on, and now my ergo went from 40.5 to 41. So that's another way. There's a, even a better one, a CCS or something. Charging handle, I think it gives you two points. So that's a good thing to know. Um, there's a Fortis shift grip. You need it regardless, so there's nothing you can do to change it. Here's the Magpul 30-round um, uh, mag that they're talking about. Uh, who cares about the specs because you have to use it. And then the other op item that you could potentially change, move around, piss around with, whatever, is your um, silencer. So it says you needed a silencer. Um, so here we got a minus 8 recoil on the silencer, but a big penalty to ergonomics. So they're potentially is some other options for silencing uh, let's just go quickly here weapon parts and modding functional muzzle devices suppressors and let's see 762 uh, 762 by 39 there's a rotor uh, no, I'll buy it just to show that there are a couple of other um, oops this off. Nope. Oh, I have to take that off. No, still that doesn't work either. Um, let's try it on the modding screen. Does it make a difference? No, it doesn't show it there. Um, I could have used this, which is the DT hybrid, and then use the multi-caliber silencer that this guy has. Uh, currently it's a lot of money uh, I'll take it and that would also work so you just have to um, so let me put this on there so again there's a check mark it works um, this one doesn't appear to work um, but there are two options here one is that um, this KAC uh, silencer and then this uh, end piece the flash is KAC QDC flash support so you have to put that on with this silencer or the other option was what I showed you which was the hybrid uh, and then this little DT hybrid mount so actually this is I prefer that anyways and then finally um, you need to have something to put your Fortis on so I use this uh, aggressor so I'm just going to pull the Fortis off for a second. So this is the Aggressor handguard. It's got a plus 5 ergonomics, minus 3 recoil, so that's not too bad. Again, you have to use the Fortis, so you have no choice. But there are a number of handguards you potentially could use to complete this build. I just don't. I'm getting down on the, my cash, and I don't really have the money to be able to 
buy a whole bunch of different ones to show you. But, um, I don't know, is it Skier has some? Yeah, I don't see it. There's the Dominator. The Dominator might actually work. It's got plus 8 ergo, 1.5. Um, uh, let me just pull that. Uh, 1.5 reduction in recoil, but uh, I think I pointed out earlier that recoil reduction was uh, significantly um, less of a problem with this build. And it doesn't like... There it is. There's a Dominator. And there's a shift and that works um, let's go back here again take off the uh, fortis again take off the dominator put on the mole put on the shift and there's a check mark showing it's different so you see there that uh, you got some options with the dominator and the aggressor as possible uh, handguards and then of course you have to use the Fortis so any one of those will work but that's how I built the gun I'll just go into the modding screen to give you a little bit of a preview so the Zukov is probably the best stock you can get for it because of the minus 28 but there are some other options I just don't have a lot of money to explore those you can get a bonus by putting a charging handle, the new one, uh, 800 meters on the Spectre, and it doesn't impact ergonomics too, too bad. Um, I showed there's multiple handguards that can work as long as they can take the shift, and they're fine. Um, I had three options here, the Aggressor, the Dominator, and then the MOE AKM, which so that's the MOE Magpool, specific for the AKM. And then silencer, I did show that there was a couple of options. There's the KAC with its uh, mounting uh, hardware, and then the um, Silenceco hybrid with its mounting hard hydro uh, hardware. So either one of those will work uh, just fine. I just happen to have a couple of spare of that silencer, so why not? Okay, so I'm going to hand that in, and that will be the end of this task. Oh, forgetting, sorry, I almost forgot, forgetting the AKM. Uh, you can buy it directly for 43000 from uh, Prepor. You can trade for two, three tins of beef stew. Uh, now, you do need beef stew, those little tins of beef stew for um, Uh, so there's a small can. You do need these for a task, but you could buy one, two, three of them there for uh, to do the trade. That's going to be 29,041. So it's slightly cheaper than just straight buying it. And of course, there's always a flea to buy an AKM. And go down here, just a straight AKM. So they're available for um, around 43, which is the same price as, here's the price for Prepor, it's just about the same price. Um, the one thing always, when you buy something off the flea, make sure that uh, 100 by is full health. So make sure that this uh, on the left here, health is above 60, otherwise the mechanic won't take it. So like that one works. That one would work. Um, just looking to see if there's a bad one here that somebody's trying to... You get people that will try to screw you over by selling you... Uh, so this one would not work, even though it's modified. They're pretty good. 41 out of 90, not good enough. 51 out of 90, not good enough. 62 would actually work, just barely. But uh, So this one, 40 out of 93, will not work. Um, so, you know, even though this one's pretty heavily modded, uh, it's not, this would jam, it's below, It's that low, the durability is that low that it will jam. So if you're going to do anything, you could buy this one just for the parts or something. But there you can see there's the um, uh, Ace Soco uh, stock, and then there's a little mod you have to buy to put that on. So that would actually work as well uh, as a Zukov. Um just have a look here to see if he's got that mod, or is that a skier thing? Um, oops. No, it's I don't have it for sale yet, so I have to find it. But anyways, um, I've 
more or less showed you how you can complete this. And I've got to go back here to tasks and gunsmith part six. Turn it in. There it is. Done. Complete. And now gunsmith part seven, which is an M4A1 with a bunch of stuff. I'll be putting out a video later on that, but uh, hopefully that will help you complete the task. Thanks.